Hey, good morning. Good morning out there. <sighs> this weekend I had the honor of speaking at the Young Living Beauty School here in Chicago and it was a beautiful experience with hundreds and hundreds of women and two men <laughs> in the audience and part of I knew going in that my presentation had a lot of information and I knew how to present it all and I knew how to skip some points and keep it flowing and end on time and do all those pieces. So there were a part that I touched on, hydration being one of those parts, drinking water being one of those pieces that I touched on but didn't get to say all the goods on it. So right now I am going to share with you my presentation notes on hydration. I want to start with a quote by my good friend Ed Daly that I love when he does one of his presentations. He says, dilution is the solution to pollution. <laughs> and that means drink your water. I'll say that again. Dilution is the solution to pollution. And that will make more sense. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for coming on. That'll make more sense as I go through some of these notes. Now, I want to say my reference for this is the essential oil desk, ref def desk reference. So this information comes right out of there. There's information about hydration and drinking water all throughout the internet, as you know, but these little points are really a big deal. Now, I already sucked down, I totally forgot, and totally sucked down my um, Wolfberry drink this morning because I was so excited about it, and with the time change, um, I overslept and needed that hydration. And what that is, is we take our Wolfberries, have you ever done this? Take your Ningxia Wolfberries, just a handful, put them into a bottom of the glass, fill it with water the night before, put it by your bedside, and wake up to this beautiful red cup. I'm so sorry I sucked that down so quick and don't have it to show you. I'll post a picture about it. I had it all throughout the beauty school. Sorry, sorry, phone call. Um, so that people could see it. And it plumps up and fills up the wolfberries with hydration. And wolfberries have 13% protein in them, so you're getting that blast of water hydration with all those antioxidants from the wolfberries and um, the yumminess. That also is, the wolfberry is a bitter, and so that actually is a part of your palate that you don't always get. So, Ninja wolfberries in water at night, huge, huge, yummy, yummy. But even if you don't have Ninja wolfberries, drinking eight to 12 ounces of water right when you wake up is major hydrating for the organs. It allows the hydration to come into your body before your body starts to work. So if you've ever naturally tested your thyroid or done any natural testing on your body with a thermometer before you move and all of that, your body temperature is at a certain level, your organs are at rest. When you bear, you just get up, not get up and brush your teeth and get up and move around, but literally after you, in the yoga world, what I teach, getting out of bed by rolling to your side, taking your top hand and press the bed away from you, lifting up your head and neck, last, letting your legs dangle over the bed, grab your water and drink. That's what I'm talking about before anything starts to really work in the body. Now I've usually done my in-bed yoga and done some movement before I hydrate. But if you're not doing your in-bed yoga before you get up, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. That's why back in the days, and if you watch the old movies, they have the pitcher with the glass on top and they put the water in there and then they have their glass there and the glass protects the pitcher and they pour from it. That's why those were there. This is ancient knowledge, friends. So water is key and we know that and we hear that all the time. Drink more water, are you drinking your water? I mean, it's like a broken record in our minds, yes? But water is the activator for all body functions, for growth, for development, for strength, and for vitality. This only substance more important than water in our bodies is oxygen. 
Water and oxygen, the two most important things to live. So we've heard this over and over that the human body is 70% water. But you may not have heard these, that the human brain is 75% water. That blood is 80% water. And this one was a big one for me, that your liver is 96% water. 96% water. So, so many people would like to liver cleanse. Yes, that's like it, spring comes and everybody wants to cleanse because they want to lose weight. They want to feel less bloated. They want to get their winter hibernation um, excess off. And so people start to look for cleansing, 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 cleansing. I hear it all the time as an integrative health coach. What cleanse do you like to do? What should I start with? Well, number one, cleansing should always start in the fall with your colon. There is timeliness to cleansing and you want to make sure your colon is working. So if you're going to start cleansing something, make sure you're, you have a healthy digestive system. 100% you have to have a healthy digestive system before you start to do anything new and cleanse. But you also need to make sure that you are hydrated. You ha it's imperative to have hydration at its finest for your colon and for all your organs, your blood, your brain, your liver that we just mentioned are, have so much water to them. Your whole body, 70% water, must be hydrated before you do any cleansing. So that's why we're so in, I, I hope you know, about the medical medium, Anthony Williams, and he is all about celery juice. I couldn't even get celery at, the, at Whole Foods this week because everybody's into it, which that's so hydrating as well. So I'm not gonna get into the details of that, but I did wanna name drop that because if you're wondering, if you're wanting a source, and for years, when I was even when I was a little girl, I wanted to know what foods would do for me because there were foods I didn't like. I liked lettuce without the dressing. I didn't like foods touching. I had all these food issues in my life and I craved to know. And even as an adult, when I was learning my yoga and learning about health and wellness, I craved to have a source that would just talk about the individual food and the vitamins and minerals and the benefits you get. And yes, they were out there, but they were difficult reads. Medical medium is the easiest read and gives you that information. All right, he's got three or four, four books, I think. So back to water, that was like just a little side note. Water. Aids in digestion and absorption, as we talked about, regulates body temperature and blood circulation. So all of you all that are cold all the time, you know, and you say, I'm cold all the time. I hear it so often. Are you hydrated is my question. Are you hydrated? Circulatory issues. Raise your hand. Put a little hand up if circulation is this thing for you. Me. Are you hydrated? I can tell a huge difference on the days and weeks that I stay hydrated of how my circulation is versus when I am parched and when I'm not getting enough, okay? So we know, hopefully all of you know, to consume half your body weight in ounces, half your body weight in ounces of water a day. But honestly, I do not feel that that is enough. That's a start. And by all means, if you do it and you haven't then, give yourself like a yes. Yes, that's fantastic. But every all when we breathe all day, we lose two cups of water breathing. So someone like me that does pranayama practice, which I just did, and someone like me that does all that, oh my gosh, we have to make sure we're rehydrating. When you exercise, you lose up to eight to 10 cups of water. So really good trainers and really good exercise programs have you take water breaks in amongst your workout. If you're not drinking water during your workout, you are majorly dehydrating, yes? Why do you think marathon runners have packs of water around them? Now that's the extreme, yes? But even when you're running three miles, you're losing eight to 10 cups or more. So all my friends that do hot yoga, love that you're doing yoga, 
love all types of yoga except the dehydration factor. If you're doing things like hot yoga, um, things in a heated, so exercise has been proven to, to lose eight to 10 cups of water, but I'm not too sure so many studies have been done on when we add all the heat and all of us jumping into infrared saunas and going into steam rooms and things like that, you're gonna lose even more and you will possibly lose some excess bloat and weight from that, but how much water in your organs are you losing? So be mindful of those half your body weight in ounces is may not be enough, probably isn't enough for those that are major exercisers or going into saunas and hot places, you're, you're losing twice as much, maybe 10 to 20 cups of water there. And we can't, I wish we could have a magnifying glass and just look inside of our body and say, hey, are, are you doing okay? Colon, you got enough water today? Are you doing good? Liver, are you functioning okay? Wouldn't it be amazing if we had simple testing that could do that? But we don't, so we have to just put it in. It, there is no harm, no foul. You may pee a lot, but you will pee out what you don't need, yes? We often drink other liquids thinking we are hydrating like soda, zing, coffee, tea. Tea is my thing. Whew, I love to have an iced tea. I love to have a hot tea. I love herbal tea, black tea, green tea, you name it. I love tea. Okay, so that's my thing. But what they often have caffeine, which is a diuretic. And this diuretic effect leads to an increased loss of fluids through ur urination. So when we think that we're doing all this goodness by getting hydration, by having other liquids also, they can actually dehydrate you faster or more. So be mindful of your hydration. The hydration skin test, just simple. Take your skin and see if it bounces back and it goes right back to you. I, I am a product of this. I have very skin thin on my hands. And if I am not hydrated, it literally stays up like this. Right now it bounces back, I'm hydrated, okay? So that's a simple, simple little test. The function of, this is a quote, the function from the EODR, the function of every cell in the body is controlled by electrical signals sent through our nervous system from the brain. Our nerves, in reality, are an elaborate system of tiny waterways. If the fluid inside our nerves thickens due to dehydration or is contaminated with synthetic chemicals or toxic heavy metals like lead, the vital signals can be distorted. The major point in here of why I said that is we are full of these tiny waterways that are important to give them what they need and that is fluids by water. Are you dr Also, are you drinking a good water source? It matters what water we're drinking. Yes, I'm all about in-house water systems, full house so that you can go to any sink in your house and drink. I am all about pure, great water. I am not going to name drop names of water sources. I know you're going to ask. Go ahead and ask and get some conversation going in this thread. Sorry, I should have fixed that. Another phone call. Go ahead and ask in the comments about water sources and see what friends know because I'm sure there's multiple and there's lots of sources. Now, it's also really nice to hydrate with lemon and our essential oils, yes. But what I'm going to tell you, we always talk about let's not drink naked water. We have a vitality line of essential oils that you can put into your water, a drop or two. Water and oil are, do not mix. So I like to put a little, just a little, little sprinkle of Himalayan sea salt, which gives me some magnesium minerals in there, and it'll move all the way through and even hydrate you more. There is a way to increase your hydration if you feel like you're not absorbing water. That's a whole nother talk I can talk about, but back to our naked water, a lot of you drink the same Vitality oil in your water every day. I invite you to switch that up. I invite you to switch up. There is so many choices. We've got orange vitality, lemon, fennel, dill. The, it, the list goes on and on. Frankincense, digize, they all have a vitality. Any vitality oil you can ingest and I invite you to switch it up. 
I hear people saying I do lemon, 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 lemon. Switch it up sometimes and see what happens and see how your body shifts and changes from switching it up and having balance and, and moderation, okay? So I'm gonna keep this pretty short and say, repeat that. <laughs> Dilution is the solution to pollution. So before you start to do any spring cleaning inside your body, make sure you're hydrated and get your water going. Sometimes it's fun to buy a new water bottle. It might help you. Or Kathy Smith this weekend at beauty school said, <laughs> famous Kathy Smith who stood this test of time for fitness. She has an app. Check it out. Um, she said every morning she has a 32 ounce measuring cup on her counter and she fills it up and she drinks thir she drinks that 32 ounce cup measuring cup full before actually does she does 64 ounces she does two of them before she leaves the house and then all the water she drinks throughout the day is supplemental it supplements her hydration that she already had and i'm telling you girls at the age of and men at the age of 68 kathy smith can still move and groove so i follow the people that practice what they preach so here we go let's hydrate have a good day